Very satisfying. I love effing canisters. What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here hanging out today doing stuff and things back Whoops in Astroneer. Thanks so much for coming to hang out with me today guys We're gonna start grinding up some stuff and things while we talk about stuff and things and if you like stuff and things Don't forget ladies and gentlemen if you're having fun with this series hit the thumbs up button show your support if you're new and you have a good time consider subscribing for more and yes we have built the large grinder we have moved the base things are coming along quite nicely in fact uh and yeah i'm very excited about it today i think we're going to work on some automated hydrazine production uh hydrazine is one of those things that throughout your time in astroneer you will need it you will always need it it will always be a thing uh and there is a way that we can turn power and soil into hydrazine automatically we're going to be able to do this it's going to be really really cool especially with the new automation it makes it really easy um once we have this system done all we'll have to do uh is head out on our soil gathering super system machine uh and then we'll just go ahead and get the soil we'll plop it down on some platform deals and then bam eventually it'll take a second but it's going to make hydrazine for us so that's what we're going to do um i have found a little research nugget here and i also found a couple of issues or one issue in particular with the base let me see here let me try to drop these guys right there we'll let that guy run now over here i noticed this today we moved everything over here by the gateway we made a nice large flat area uh we have some room for expansion and a couple of these kind of oval e uh platform deals are set up here and all that's looking really good now they're pretty far away but as long as i stay near to these areas i can tether off to these platforms as you can see right here but i noticed that if i pop over here we have a problem. Chick in the armor, Ted. No oxygen. So there's oxygen from this tether line that I placed over here. But right over here, we have no oxygen. Now, that has to be from this. If you remember in the video yesterday, yes, ladies and gentlemen, we had some issues. Do I have room for tethers? Let's go ahead and grab some of these guys like that. Uh, I had an issue with the platforms under here. So the way that we got this... Do we still have the... Yeah. Uh, the way that we got this to work was we buried... There it is. We buried the platforms. Now, what I was noticing was over here, I was like, well, that line looks like it has power. So that means these must, these must be connected. Well, no, that's not true. I have RTGs right here. They're powering this whole side. So this whole side, the power is connected through a buried platform that's over here. But this guy right here is what was causing us a problem. So we're going to try this once again. We're going to place that there. We're going to lock it. We're going to connect it. And then... Why does that one always move? The other one doesn't move. It's such a strange phenomenon. The other platform does, does that, that, that. Why? The other platform that's over here does not move. But this one always wants to move. And I don't know why that is. Um, I lock it. Uh, and I've noticed that actually with a couple of other things too. Let's put that guy up over here. Maybe if we go fast. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen. He's done it. We have done it. Wow. It had to do with the speed. I don't know, but let's just double check that over here. All right. Well, that wasn't as bad as I thought. It was a little bit tricky. I've noticed in other instances, if I move the ground underneath a platform, like when I was doing this one right here, this platform would always like kind of bump and fly up when I was trying to level out the land underneath. This platform just wouldn't. And I don't know why that is. A little bit of a weird deal with Astroneer. It is what it is. All right. But we got it fixed up, so that feels good. Uh, so I ended up, or did, pardon me, do a little bit of leveling of some terrain. Now, we're going to need a couple things in order to make this happen. Uh, well, a lot of things are going to have to be crafted, in fact. Uh, first and foremost, we're going to need two of the large platform, these guys, two extra large platform Cs. So that's going to be iron and resin. Now, let me see here. Aluminum, titaniums, zincs, coppers, iron. So we went and got a lot of iron. Iron and resin. And we have a bunch of resin as well. We got that guy right there. So if we set this guy up like so, turn those guys on like that. And then, wait, what? Compound and ceramic? Extra large platform? This isn't what we want. Where's the other one? There we go. Iron and resin. So wait, there's iron and resin on this platform. Why is you no telling me I can build this? Still not taking it. So this is very, very odd. Iron and resin. Resin and iron. But it won't go into the machine itself, even though it's on the platform. Even if I select it, it doesn't like... 
That is really, really weird. It should automatically do, and I'm not exactly sure why. All right, well, we just need two of these guys. We're also going to need another full setup of this. So we'll need eight medium fluid and soil containers, two large storages, which I already have. Uh, and now we can actually shut this off. Uh, and another soil centrifuge. We'll need another chemistry lab. There's a lot of things that we're going to have to go ahead and craft up. Um, the other thing I think we're going to need to make this completely automated, another atmospheric condenser as well. So there's a lot of stuff and things we're going to have to do. Uh, let's go ahead and suck these up. I just was done making a little bit of hydrazine. Let's go ahead and drop this guy over here like so. And then we're going to set this to go ahead and get hydrogen for us like that in perpetuity. All right. So that's going to gather a little bit more. So a few different things that we have to go ahead and craft. You don't go there. Uh, you go over here. A and when we're done, we should be able to do this. So I'm going to start crafting some stuff and things. And then we're going to put this together uh, together. So I started working on this system, but I wanted to bring you back to show you some of the power of canisters and kind of how we're going to move forward with our playthrough here. So check this out. We need to make some more of these guys, right? Because we're going to set up a whole other system. I have these two platforms over here ready to rock. I think this is a good, going to be a good place to go ahead and set this up. And what I'm feeling like we're going to do, let's just go ahead and change that guy like that. Can we get that aligned? And then this guy's a little bit weird. Maybe like so. We might have to move these two because we're going to use auto arms. But I think this is a good spot because we're going to want to drop these guys off on like an automated system like maybe over here. So this way we'll have a nice open area to get our rover into over there. Uh, but yeah, we're going to need some more canisters, right? So that's the key to the universe now in this game. So medium resource canisters and medium fluid and soil canisters both use glass and plastic. So right over here, we have some glass, but we don't have any plastic. So over in this area, like so, we take a look. It's just carbon and compound, right? So if we pop over into here and we take a look, what is this guy? That's got a little bit of compound. And then do we have any carbon going on here? Ceramic. Uh, that's glass. Oh, yeah, I think I suck it over there. There's 13 carbon right there. So the only problem we have right now is that I don't have... An extra container. All right, so if we're going to make this happen to start off with, we're going to need at least one extra container. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and just put those on output. Let's grab a carbon and a compound. I'm going to need the regular container, not the fluid and soil. And then again, oh, glass and plastic. We have to make a plastic for this derp. So hold on. Let's pop over here and get that guy going like so. And then let me go ahead and grab these guys. You can come over here with me. We'll stick that right there, and then you can come over here with me. Now, we don't have a ton of uh, either one of these, but we're going to be able to make some more. So we're going to grab our plastic like that. Let's go ahead and craft up one of these containers, that resource container like so. Oh, we need glass, pardon me. That guy, there we go. Let's make another one of these bad hombres. So that can be for our plastic. So now, instead of just making one thing at a time, no, 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 ladies and gentlemen, we're going to make a lot of things at a time. We're going to try to start making an entire container worth... Um, every time we need a new thing. So we're going to unpack this bad ombre. We'll grab you like so. All right. So let's pop over here. Let me go ahead and craft. Uh, let me see. Inside of there. Carbon and compound. That's right. One more plastic just so I can prime this container. So we're going to make one more of these guys. We'll prime the container. Uh, thankfully, we don't need any gas for this recipe. And when this is done, crafting up our plastic... Like so, we will go ahead and prime this guy. So then that know it knows what it wants to be. All right, so now what I can do is come over here like so, come over here like so, and then I think, hold on a second here, guys. Hold on one second. I apologize. I apologize. Suck back in, please. If you wouldn't mind sucking, that'd be great. And then what I think I'll actually do is I'll place these guys like this. We'll place these guys over here like so. And maybe that guy right there like that. All right. So now what we want to do with this is go ahead and set it up to make an unlimited amount of plastic. And then we can turn these guys back on. Uh, and they'll go ahead and feed the system. It should work automatically. We shouldn't have to do anything to this. It's just going to automatically make plastic. It's going to uh, feed into this resource container. And then these guys are going to continue to output into this. Now, we didn't do this in like a really, uh, like a perfect way. In a perfect world, these would each have 33 inside of them. I just wanted to start off with a few because we're going to need to get some containers going. I needed at least one. To store the plastic in. Uh, so that now that those guys are going, it looks like we used a little bit of glass too. But what we're going to need, I think even more containers. I'm going to need an entire container of this. I'm going to need an entire container of carbon. 
That means I'm going to need an empty container in order to make uh, the container that the carbon's going to go in. You see how this is going to go. So we'll go down the rabbit hole a little bit, get a bunch more stuff and things crafted. And I will, BRB's peeps. Check it out, a demonstration of said abilities to make canisters of stuff and things. Uh, you are here, there it is. All right, so now we've got this. Now I've made a full canister of carbon, a full canister of compound. Now I can pop these guys over here like so. I can go ahead and start crafting one, and then I'll go ahead and stop. One plastic. We'll pull them all back in here. That should pop out of here any second we want to disable output like that. The plastic pops inside of there. Ladies and gentlemen, actually pops inside of here before the ding goes off. And then we can set these guys all up. So now, this will just go ahead and create an entire canister of 32 plastic. Which previously to canisters would be like unheard of. You'd never make that much plastic. Uh, I also decided to make another smelting furnace. And I stuck it over here on this other large platform. Uh, the reason I've done that is because they just work a little bit slow. So I want things to go a little bit more quickly for us. So I'm going to grab... Oh, wait. Hold on. Let's go ahead and turn this guy... Okay, that's off. Let's grab that guy right there. We've made another canister of compound as a backup to the canister of compound that we're using to make the plastics. Those guys are good. These are all additional canisters that I've crafted. So that's looking really good. Now, uh, inside of here, what I've got to do is go ahead and, I guess, pop that guy off of there. Set him up like this. Uh, I think disable output, right? Yeah, uh, like that. And then that'll suck up all the rest of the glass that we have. So we're going to have to start making some more glass as well. Um, so that that means we're going to need some of these guys. So again, what we could do is just pop over here, create an entire... Actually, how many? How much glass is going to be in there when we're done? We might not want to do an entire deal. We got 18, so we could just do some. So here's what I'll do. I'll pop this guy off of here like so. We'll squirt you down over there like that. That guy can come off of there. And then the crystal can go over here. We'll F that. And then, bam, we're making more glass. When this is full, we'll go ahead and stop the system from making any more. We can actually do a little bit of math and probably tell how much it's going to take. But, um, but yeah, so then we can make another canister of glass because we're going to need that because we're going to make the medium soil canisters as well. Uh, these guys right here, I kind of feel like maybe I should start opening them all up. And then perhaps what we'll do... This will make another one of these guys, the extra large platform bees, to house some of the empty containers that we have. Just to like a little, you know what I mean? A little rest stop for them along the highway of their life inside this game. All right, like that and like that. Let's open these guys up. Oh, looking amazing. Oh, yeah. It's very satisfying. I love effing canisters. All right. So they're a little wonky. They're a little all over the place, but it is what it is. But uh, yeah, so we're on our way. We're making a lot more things a lot more quickly. Uh, and that's very amazing. That's also very satisfying. So just getting some more canisters of all the things made. Uh, considering now we have this amazing power to make canisters full of stuff and things. I've started to just take a look at what I've got over here for storage. What it is that I can make uh, and getting things filled up. Since we just used a bunch of carbon... Uh, I thought that maybe getting some more of that going would be a good idea. So I've got this guy over here, and now I've got two smelters. So that's running uh, very nicely right over in that area. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so we made nine of these. We only really need eight, but we could always probably use a couple more. Now, we're going to drop all these bad boys over here. This is the beginning of our automated hydrazine production facility. We're going to have this done by the end of the episode. Oh, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What was I thinking? I don't need eight. I need, wait, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's right, because they're doubles. What do you think, it's Slipgator? All right, so these guys need to go over on this side, like so. And then we can open all these guys up. And again, effing things, my favorite thing. Let's F all these guys. Now, these guys are empty. We're going to need to get them filled up. So, we're going to need a couple of things first. Let's go ahead and grab a single... I think we need a single canister. Honestly, I can't remember. Let's grab a single canister. I think we need that. This guy right here doesn't need to be a thing right now. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect you. We'll stick that back on there like so. And then these guys have got to go here. That guy like that. You like so. We'll grab these. Dude, I got to... Mm -mm, that's not okay. Hold on. Let's place these where they need to be. Okay, F them. Dude, I love effing things. All right, so then these guys right here... Like so and like so. 
and then our canister can pop on top of here. Now, we have got to head out into the world to grab more soil. Before I do that, let me just make sure. I feel like everything's going well over here. This guy's almost empty as well, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. Carbon, compound, resin, some quartz. I think we have a lot of stuff and things, so probably don't need to be crafting anything else at this time. Uh, I'm going to head out. We're going to go ahead and grab all of these, fill them up. Um, I'm going to craft all the things we need to make this work, and then we're going to set that bad ombre up, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm just getting some other stuff going around here. We're going to need a soil centrifuge, aluminum, and compound. I started putting some extras over here. So when I have extra materials, I just kind of stick them over there for the time being. Uh, we're making some more compound over there. What was it again? Aluminums. All right, I think I had that, right, that guy right over there. Grab some aluminums. All right, so we're going to need another soil centrifuge. We're crafting that guy right there. I've already made this guy, the atmospheric condenser. Now, these bad hombres are going to have to come over here. I filled them up completely. That guy like so, and then that guy can go there. You can go back over there for later. You can squirt right over there. All right, so the first thing that we're going to want to do, then we got our auto arm, right? Blue and green. I can't remember which side's which. I think it goes like that because we're going to want to take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to want to take ammonium from here and put it down over there. Now, we're also going to need. We have the atmospheric condenser right there. We're going to need another one of these guys, too. We're going to need another chemistry lab. So uh, let's wait for this guy to print up. We'll see what that's going to take. I think I have a couple more of the medium fluid and soil containers. I've made those guys. And we're going to need a few of these, too. So hold on. We'll grab that guy like so. This guy's almost done. In the middle of creating all of this, I've decided that I'm tired of it being so dark around here. So I created these guys, the tall platforms, and then I went to make some work lights. Work lights take copper. This is where our copper used to be. So, in true Astroneer fashion, we've been derailed. It's time to go check out uh, getting a little bit of copper. I'm going to go ahead and grab two of our canisters right here. This won't take me too long. I'm just going to do it by myself. I'm going to drop these guys over there like so. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pop inside of this guy. You know what I'm going to do too? While we're here, I had the one work light over there. Hold on a second here. Let me grab... I won't be able to bring this guy everywhere with me, but I think for just this trip, considering it's nighttime, I should. We really should use a little bit of light. It would be great if there were better options, I think, in this game for more lights on things. Like, it would kind of be cool. I mean, you can kind of put lights on the front here, but you really need the drill and the paper and stuff like that. It would be cool if there were, like, more dedicated light spots. But, um, all right, so I got to find... Ooh, wow, interesting. No mountains around here. So we're going to have to find a mountain here pretty quick. Oh, hello. Uh, and go ahead and start grabbing up some stuff so we can get a little bit of copper. This is probably not a large deposit. I'm going to take a wild guess and say that's not... Yeah, that's... Is that it? Oh, great. Wait, there was a little... No, that's organic. All right, so never mind. That's not going to be a thing. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go out and I'm going to get some more... What is it? Malachite? Oh, we got some right here too? Dude, this should only really be in the mountainous areas. I'm really glad we found a little bit. I don't think this is going to do it for me. I need like 32. Ow! We can go ahead and grab a little bit here because I need maybe 30 or 60 copper for sure. So I've got my tall platform set up, but of course it's in the middle of the day now. We're not going to really be able to see how this works. We're kind of just going to have to hook these up where I can. I think over here we've already got this up and running. I didn't find quite as much copper as I would have liked, and I spent a good amount of time looking for it. So that might be a reason for us to get into the auto extractors. Those are going to be kind of big here in a little bit, and we'll talk about those later. But these guys right over here, at the very least, I just want to get them hooked up like so. All right, so they're hooked up. There's a light you can see right there, uh, and we have our copper over here. So we're going to have to make a bunch of lights uh, and get those all hooked up. But I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'm going to worry about this guy right now. All right, so our soil centrifuge. That guy wants to come up over here like so. We want to go ahead and set this like that. I want to put this guy over here like this. And then we are going to... Uh, let me see here. Let's take one ammonium out of here. I don't think we really need to do this, but we're going to. We're going to set that like that. We're going to put this ammonium inside of there so that the arm will only grab ammonium. I don't think there's ever going to be a problem with that, but that way it, we'll just make sure. All right. This guy's going to be set for ammonium, and that's going to be set to do that all of the time like so. Now we are missing a canister. Hold up. Yoink that guy over to here. All right. And now that should work and automatically make ammonium for us. So what we want to do over here, now we have the chemistry lab right here. 
Now I'm going to set this guy up right there like so. Over here I have... Oh, that can't go there actually. So over here we'll set that guy up. You need to go more like here. Okay, so this guy needs to be set for hydrogen. Let me go ahead over here. What do I got inside of this guy? Oh, that's my copper. I'm going to need that. Uh, so hydrogen. We have a whole hydrogen right there like so. And you are turned off. All right, great. So that guy's over here like this. And then this guy can go over here. Now, these two bad hombres need to come with me. And they're going to set right there and right there like that. Uh, and then over here, I guess we don't really need anything else. We could go like this. That might actually work better for us. So now, if I turn this guy on, it's going to automatically feed the hot, the ammonium into that. Now, I think I got this the right way. And then, if this is set like this. Okay, so if I go over here and I set this guy for hydrazine, right? We want to make it all the time. So that guy's set to make hydrazine all the time. Uh, this guy right here, we want to set to make hydrogen. Make hydrogen all the time. Uh, now, this guy needs to be set for uh, output. Now that should go ahead and make our hydrazine all the time. Uh, wait, no, this needs to be set for output, right? All right, there we go. So now that guy's set for output. So, and then when this makes, uh, these should be disable output, disable output. Okay. I think those guys are good to go. That guy's making stuff and things. That's putting that inside of there. This goes ding. And then this goes like, so, okay, wait, we need disable output. And then we need disable output. Like that and like that. All right. So I think this might be working right now. I'm almost positive that it's working. I want to go ahead and let it sit here for a second. Just to make sure that I've got it all set up the correct way. Uh, if you're wondering how I did this so lightning fast, I have done it on stream. Over at twitch.tv slash slipgator, we stream stuff and things Monday through Friday from 5 to 9. So if you want to hang out with us over there, uh, there's a link in the description. You can click it, hit the follow button, uh, and we'd love to see you. We actually are on a playthrough of Stardew Valley right now. It's a brand new, well, no, it's a brand new to me game. It's definitely not a brand new game, but I've never played it before. So we're checking out Stardew Valley and we're having a great time with our community over there doing that. So come hang out with us and check it out. Uh, but right now, I think this is going well. Uh, the only thing I really want to do here is maybe output here. Yeah, like that. And then stop. Oh, here's the problem that we're going to have. Oh, God. Here we go. Suck those back up. Let's go like this. Okay. These guys can go. Oh, God. And then hold on. Oh, okay. God. Terrible disaster. Terrible disaster. All right. Hold on. You can go here. You can go here. This way, both of these are prime. That's all I was trying to do right there. So now that can go on output and that can go on output. All right. So it looks like this is working. Uh, the perfect time for our nighttime. And I want to let that do its thing for a second. But I'm going to explain it here in another couple of seconds. I'm going to grab a lot of copper here. Pardon me. And we're going to start crafting work lights. Now, I think I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, minus one. So there's one... And we could do this in the printer. It'd actually be much faster. Two. Dude, this is going to get pretty bright. Eight total work lights. And now I'm making four floodlights. And under cover of darkness, I think this is going to work out quite well. There we go. Check it out. I, I'm, I guess I could do more floodlights. They look like they do provide a lot more light. But look at these guys, man. These are these tall platforms. Drop these floodlights on here. And I think it looks really, really cool. Now, there's another cool thing about these guys. They have a little bit of space on top. And it's kind of the perfect spot to maybe drop maybe some solars like this. We have four solar panels over here. Uh, eventually, we're going to craft up some more RTGs and we won't really need these. I do like the way that the solars look on top. You might like it a little bit more if there were some... Um, of the wind jennies up there or something like that. Although altitude doesn't really matter with those. Uh, but yeah, this would be really cool to have these up here. And I think that'll just look really good. So we're going to grab these guys like this uh, and drop them over there. I think it really does a nice job lighting this area up too. It's definitely a major technological advancement. Look at our amazing lights. All right. So over to here, let's take a look at this again so you guys can understand what's going on. Soil is being turned uh, in the soil centrifuge from soil into ammonium. Now, this guy over here, green on the centrifuge side, blue on the other side. The auto arm is turned on and it's moving the ammonium over here into this medium resource container, which is set on disable output incorrectly. Enable output. Oh, is it out? 
Oh, wait. Disable output. No, no. We want it on output. Yes, like this. Watch. See there? Like so. And then it goes in there. All right. So that guy's good to go. And this guy also disable output. So it is outputting. Uh, we have our atmosphere condenser set to make hydrogen all the time. We have this chemistry lab set to make hydrazine all the time. And that is automatically filling up our containers over here. Ladies and gentlemen, automated hydrazine production is up and running we will not have to make it ever again that is going to be it for today ladies and gentlemen more base organization more base lighting options and automated hydrazine production very very easy to do uh and it's going to really make things easier in our lives in the game so thanks for coming to hang out with me today make sure if you like the video please don't forget show your support smash the thumbs up button a big shout to everybody who supports the channel on Patreon. You guys make the stuff and things happen. You really keep the videos going. And I appreciate you helping to fund this continued adventure. Thanks for watching, guys. And may the stuff and things be with you. What? Be with you. Wait. Yeah, be with you. That one. May the stuff. We'll edit that part out. May the stuff and things be with you.